Hey guys, Todd from Sideshow Effects. You know, recently I've come across a piece of software that uh, has been a bit of a game changer for me. What it is, it's software called Touch Portal. And what it does, uh, using a tablet uh, that you've got beside you, it allows you to interact with the tablet and control things on your desktop application. I can build the pages tailored to my workflow and have those commands right there. So there's two pieces of software uh, that Touch Portal runs on. One runs on your tablet and the other one runs on your desktop uh, computer where you can program it. So it's dead easy to create these pages in Touch Portal. On the desktop application, you just uh, create a new page, click on one of the empty buttons. You can add in an icon from the icon library that's built into the software itself. You add the appropriate shortcut for that command. And now at that point, you, you don't ever have to remember that shortcut anymore. You don't have to remember where it is on your interface because the button's always gonna be right there beside you on your tablet. And this was such a game changer for me. I started creating icons for my, for my own uses uh, to, to illustrate in a graphical way what each, what each function I'm trying to drive uh, would do. So I created the, uh, these collections and I, I made them available now to the community. I started off with, with some free sets and a lot of people really liked them and downloaded them, but I kept expanding to the point now where I, I have sets that cover just about every command and function in each of these applications. So far we've got After Effects and Photoshop and Premiere and DaVinci Resolve and Cinema 4D. And we've got them as all separate complete packages available on SideshowFX website if you wanna take a look. But let me show you how, how this actually works. In the After Effects one, for example, you get 560 icons, but in addition, we also have a package of 170 pre-programmed buttons across 10 pages that are all ready for you to get going. So you just load up those touch portal pages and you can start working right away. So here's an example. I'm in After Effects right now and on my tablet beside me, I have the After Effects complete collection loaded. I got the view menu up right now. And let's say that this is a, a fairly um, uh, processor intensive um, project that I've got going here and I find I need to uh, lower the resolution as I'm working around say I want, do want to do some previews so I just quickly hit the set resolution low button and you can see it drops us down to a quarter resolution now I can do my uh, RAM preview and it's going to be a lot quicker for me and now I want to keep working but I need a higher resolution while I'm working I just hit the set resolution to high button and that jumps me back up to full resolution and I got a 3d camera in this so I can hop around by going to the front camera and it'll jump me to there, go to the left camera, jump me to there, back to the active camera now. All at a click of a button. But let's say that that works great, but there's some functions on this page that uh, aren't available to me. So I, I can hop out and jump into, say, the panels menu, and I could use the, uh, the graph editor, for example. And so I can jump to the graph editor. If I had keyframes here, you'd see them. But let's say that uh, I, I need that available on the other page. Well, this is very, very easy to do. All we do is jump to the touch portal interface on the desktop here. And I've got the view menu open here. I could jump over to the panels menu, grab this button here by right clicking, copy the button of the graph editor, jump back over to the view menu, find an empty button here, Paste the button, boom, you're done. And as you can see on your tablet, it pops up right away. You jump back to After Effects, and I've got my Graph Editor button available to me here. That's how easy it is to customize these existing pages. The existing pages get you going, easily modifiable. I've got the complete collection um, right here. These are all the icons that you get that are packed in the, in the package and they're all organized by menu. So for example, I'm in the view menu right now, I can go down to the view, and if I wanna build off of this, let's say for whatever reason, uh, I, I want to see a uh, set res resolution to one third instead of just the high, half, and low, I can, let's say I wanna just move this button over to here so I can put the one third in there. I just drop this over to here, Ask me if I want to replace that, yep. And you can see it's got a bit of a different style, it's smaller, so I can just, copy this style, paste this style into here, and now it's the right size. Click onto that, set res, let's say one third. And then I would apply the appropriate shortcut to that, 
I would jump over to After Effects, see what the shortcut is. If there isn't a shortcut for that, I'll make one. And I would just do a key press and let's say the shortcut was semicolon L for whatever reason. So you add that, save it. And then when you go back into After Effects, and let's say I've already assigned that shortcut to the set resolution to one third in the After Effects interface. All I need to do is press the set resolution to one third button that's now appeared on my tablet and the resolution was set to one third. And Touch Portal is so flexible because you can create pages that have anywhere from, you know, one button on a page, you can go to 20 buttons, 57 buttons, all the way to 110 buttons on one page if you want. But you don't have to cram everything into one page if you don't want because you, a touch portal allows you to do an unlimited number of pages. So you can bounce around between all the pages. So it's been such a game changer for me. It's really increased my workflow on a daily basis. So if you, if you want to check this out, go to, uh, on your device, go to the App Store or the Play Store, install Touch Portal. And then you can go to touch-portal.com and you can download their software there. While you're on their website as well, there are starter pages from Sideshow FX that uh, have 50, 50 buttons on, on a page for um, all five of the applications. Uh, Premiere, Photoshop, DaVinci, Cinema 4D, and After Effects. And you can download those, get you going right away. <laughs>